Good evening and welcome back to another episode of this electric truck. On this episode, I demonstrate the Denning-Kruger effect as I pretend to know more than the experts about the Tesla CRV Bosch iBooster, Honda CRV, whatever. Um, I've spent the last days, months bleeding and rebleeding the uh, master cylinder of, of the iBooster. And my friend and I have pretty much come to the uh, conclusion that it may be indeed a bad master cylinder after having tried to bleed it and rebleed it. And I wasn't planning on making the video today. Um, obviously, as you can tell by my uh, studio surroundings. Um, but as I took mine apart, I thought it's worthy maybe of, of sharing. So let me show you what I found. Okay, guys, here we have it. So. This is the carcass of the uh, master cylinder for Honda CRV, and um, I pulled it out because I have a uh, new old one on the way. Um, I work with really old trucks, so to me, apart from a 2018 four-year-old part, uh, to me that is a new part. No reason for it to go bad, but you never know the status and the state of these donor vehicles. So anyway. Um, I took this thing apart, and at first I, I didn't know how things came apart, but this just slid out of it. This is the piston, I guess. And look at it. I mean, it is horrible. I've seen better thingamajigs in my 1954 Chevy truck. So this may have something to do with us suspecting the uh, a faulty master cylinder. Now, I've also taken apart the reservoir here, uh, brake fluid container, if you will. The hose goes up to a second one. I'll bring that one up because it has a remote uh, reservoir as well for some reason, maybe just to make it fit under the hood of that Honda CRV. But this was pretty easy to take apart. All right, guys, let's try this again. Let's go over the gizmotrons that make up this uh, master cylinder. So here is what I call a spider bracket. We can call it the octopus or whatever this is. This um, looks like something that fell off of a alien aircraft. Uh, it couldn't be more difficult in design, but all it does is holds this remote brake fluid reservoir to the firewall of a Honda CRV. And then in turn, that connects to this little doodad that sits atop the master cylinder like so, okay? Now, it is my understanding that Bosch is a German company, correct me if I'm wrong, and I am actually a bit shocked and disappointed in how easily this came apart. I was convinced that I was gonna need at least seven different clip removers, different uh, snap ring removers of various proprietary and unobtainium designs, but nope. Uh, this, I'm calling this a piston, call it what you will, goes in there and it just, it just slid out. I was wondering how in the world do I open this cavity, if you will. This seems like all one piece casting. Um, and you can tell how incredibly dirty that is. So I think this guy was bad. Um, I, I'm no expert at this, but if you think, no, this thing's fine, uh, that's great. But to me, this looks bad in terms of just dirty and I might be able to clean it. I'm going to give it a shot with a, some brake cleaner. Um, redneck style. I don't know what else is in there. Uh, any type of O-rings or anything like that. So uh, but here I just wanted to show you the, where did that guy go? Of course. I mean, this is rusty. This is totally freaking rusty. Um, I'm surprised it was populating at all. So let me give this a shot in cleaning. But yeah, I just want to, I wanted to do a, a, uh, pretty half-assed video at showing you all the little components of it. These rubber pieces go in here, 
And that's what the little cylinder pops into. And it's held on with this uh, screw. So that goes through there and holds it to this casting. Okay, I was pretty intimidated on how I'm going to take this off because I work with old, old trucks where all the plastic is super brittle and I'm, I'm a master at cracking and breaking it. And so this all came apart fairly easily. So here you can see all the doodads and let me clean it and maybe I'll uh, continue with the video. All right, guys, I have another update. Um, maybe I can squeeze this little update in. I have to shoot this by myself because I let my video crew and my audio crew go home early today. Um, so this spring came out of the piston, what I call the piston, and I was just literally cleaning it using my hands, uh, not, not being a gorilla by any means, and shooting brake cleaner in here. And it came out of this, I don't know if it's so rusted that it fell off. It almost appears like it would just sit on there. But then I took a wire wheel to a part of this to, so, so I can see how the hell this is put together. I am just shocked. I mean, was this uh, sitting underwater somewhere? The bottom of the ocean for a while? There's no way in four years, you know, it can this can happen. Um, I don't mean to rant, but is it that the new brake fluid has some sort of a water content in it I can't see what could damage this that much that quickly um, this does spring a bit and I'm trying to figure out I'm a wuss I can't do it one-handed I'm trying to figure out how I could take this apart one-handed to further clean it but more importantly I think now we can see that there are two rubber o-rings in there and I cleaned it out a bit I, I use the uh, red straws on the brake cleaner here in the States. Uh, that's how the cans come. I'm sure they're like that all over. And I shot it in all of these uh, crevices and openings and holes and what have you. Um, wearing a face shield, so don't worry about me. I only got a little bit in my eyes and ears. Anyway, uh, there, there are these two O-rings. I do have another one coming, uh, another used one. Just because they're so expensive, they're like $300 new, but maybe worth it. Or maybe I can find now that I just need these uh, rubber O-rings. Um, there is a groove. I don't know if I can show you this one-handed. There happens to be a groove right there. It, it, do you guys see that? I don't know if that's by design, like right there. I don't know if that is by design or if that's just what got worn if, if that's what means that my cylinder is worn out you know um having nothing to compare it to this this is pretty smooth but i suspect maybe this this spring was riding it because this was very sharp it wasn't smooth at all it is smaller it is obviously smaller than this um piston what have you in diameter but if it gets kinked and rusty it maybe is what uh cut that or maybe i'm just an idiot and that's by design to have the fluid have a way of returning to wherever it needs to return hopefully you guys can see it better in this shot but yeah i'm just rambling because i don't know um we'll see what happens when the new one arrives but this was just a bit of an eye-opening learning experience and I wanted to share it with you all, all of you uh, guys who want to do an EV conversion, maybe run these uh, eye boosters with these types of uh, master cylinders. So hopefully it helps somebody out. Well folks, another update. I kept fandangling with it and just through, you know, blind ambition, stubborn stubbornness, I somehow took this stuff apart whether that means it's serviceable or not, I don't know. Maybe it's worn out. I'm gonna clean this with a wire wheel because that's what I do. Media blast and wire wheel. Look at that. Look how rusty that is for four years old. And there's this little doodad that holds the spring in. 
I uh, cleaned the spring up a little bit, but this all could be a waste of time if that cylinder has that groove in it that it's not supposed to. Or maybe it that's by design and I just need new O-rings. Who knows? I'll keep, keep working at it. Okay guys, I think at this point this is a less of a rescue and more of a recovery. Um, this just looks too perished for me. It is brakes and again, I don't work with modern cars so I don't know what this stuff's supposed to look like. I'm used to working with parts that are made out of, you know, iron and steel and weigh a million pounds, you know. So all this newer fancy gizmos. I don't know, like this spring looks okay-ish. Sometimes when spring get rusty, they lose their tensile strength or whatever boinginess. And uh, yeah, some of you are probably watching this just laughing and saying, toss that thing in the trash and I get it. So we have a new one in the way. This is just more of a discovery exercise now. See how this thing was put together, what was in it. They use the socket here just to put it in the vise and compress it a bit and see what happens so yeah there we have it I just made you know 17 parts out of one part so be it <laughs>